From happy days to the office to hacks, Linda Pearl has been entertaining us for decades across TV, film, and stage. Now she's getting ready to take her talents to Birdland for a one-night-only concert celebrating the music that defined the big band sound. <laughs> And we are so excited to have her here now. Linda, welcome back. Thank you so much. I appreciate being here and for sharing your audience. Thank we you are very much. so happy to have you. Now, this concert is called Big Band Romance. Yeah. When did you fall in love with this era of music? You know, my folks had big band on their turntable all my childhood. So it was sort of the, the backdrop to my childhood, the soundtrack of my childhood. And it was, you know, Benny Goodman and Gene Krupa and... Anita O'Day and Rosemary Clooney and Tony. I mean, that, that sound, right? And the stories that these songs carry are so profound. They were part of the Great American Songbook. They were, it was healing songs. People were moving out of war and trying to rebuild their lives. So there's a lot of heft and gravitas to the music. And Linda, whenever people come in to see one of your shows, what do you think they can expect and what are they going to also walk out with? Well, hopefully a good time. <laughs> uh, listen, we're grateful if uh, folks choose to come. I hope they do. Um, I mean, the big band sound is so robust. And usually I'll just do like a, a trio or something with my mm -hmm. music director, the incredible Ted Firth. But this night is special. It's Diva Jazz Orchestra, which is 15 of the most extraordinary female jazz musicians yeah. pulled together and I tell you it's it's an exciting night I've had the chance to perform with them a few times over the last few years and you just have to fasten your seatbelt because it's just the energy coming off the stage <laughs> I was gonna incredible. say what's it like to have all that girl power on one stage I tell you the first time I did it I was very nervous I thought oh my gosh I'm gonna be swallowed up with this sound and it was just the opposite first of all their musicianship is profound their skill level but all you have to do is just step onto that magic carpet ride and they they take you. Well, they're called the Diva Jazz Orchestra. Do you see yourself as a diva? <laughs> what does that word mean to you? Well, sure, yeah. Well, diva, you know, I, I think the, the word, the connotation has changed. Mm. I mean, these women are divas, and they've, they've earned that platform. I mean, these are their mommies and daddies that were driving these little girls to their practice and their, you know, their sessions, and they heard all the screechy violins and all the, so they've lived that. They've got more than their 10,000 hours. And so that puts you on perhaps some kind of a diva platform. It doesn't happen by accident. It happens with work and talent and hard work. And these, these girls embody that and more. And, you know, we'll just be coming out of Women's History Month, so it all seems to be of a piece. And we're celebrating a lot of the great female they were called girl singers. It's kind of a thing with big band. And also it's my fantasy. I always wanted to be a you know girl singer with a big band. So this time I get to do it, but not with any old band with the Diva Jazz Orchestra. So oh, and we have Nicholas Nicholas King as our special guest, who's a phenomenal jazz stylist. He's not a just, diva. He is, <laughs> in his own way. He's, yeah, he's an like inner bit. diva going. Yeah. So that's an extra dollop of fun. I'm looking forward to. That's singing amazing. with him and with you one day. Oh, you yeah. well, well, do, do it. Yes. Amen yes. to that. Yes. Yeah. Oh <laughs> that. That made me nervous. <laughs> Linda, what do you see coming up next for you? Oh, well, just did a, a little, you know, movie, and uh, so that'll that'll be fun to do. Some more concerts around. We go from here to St. Louis and Minneapolis, and then Japan. We're going to go to Japan. Not with Diva, sadly, but anyway, do a, a thing there. So you just, it's a gypsy life. You just kind of keep keep going. We love seeing more and more from you all the time, and your husband. You guys do great things. But you can catch Linda and the Diva Jazz Orchestra at Birdland Monday, April 1st. For tickets, head to birdlandjazz.com. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Linda. Thank you.